So today for Sam's reading, we are taking uh, Sam's 143. <coughs> Uh, Psalms 143, Psalm of David. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a, a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for you I entrust my life. Rescue me from my enemies, Lord. I hide myself in you. Teach me uh, to, your, to do your will. For you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on the level ground. For your name's sake, Lord, uh, preserves my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes. For I am your servant. <clears throat> We all uh, heard a wonderful message yesterday uh, when we were fasting and praying. And uh, when I was uh, reading this psalm, the yesterday's message kept ringing in my uh, ears. And uh, I will also touch upon uh, those situations which we saw yesterday in the uh, message. <clears throat> Uh, in this psalm, uh, I specifically want to uh, highlight the two verse, uh, verse number 8 and verse number 10. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on the level ground. This is specifically following the uh, will of God. And uh, uh, David is asking, show me the way I should go. This is very important in our life to listen the will of God, where God wants to take us. Right? Uh, <clears throat> Knowing God's will in our life is the purpose, the whole purpose of our life. God puts us in the uh, different situations and uh, teaches us through those uh, situations. Um, you know, if we see the example of Jonah, uh, God puts uh, uh, for his own will in Jonah's life and ask him to go to one direction, but he decides to disobey and go to the other directions. Uh, he get into the ship and the ship get into the disaster situation. But at that, that time, he realizes that he is the reason for this uh, disaster and uh, he needs to get away from that ship to save others. So, so he get uh, jump into the uh, sea and uh, still God takes him to the same direction where God wants him to go. So, uh, <clears throat> so God will uh, do his will in, uh, in your life, no matter what, uh, what you are uh, willing to do. The same way when we are trying to go to one direction, we put our address into the GPS 
and we go according to the direction which GPS is giving us. But one point of time, if we say, if we think, no, we don't want to go to this direction and divert our life, divert, divert our path. But GPS will keep telling you, go back, turn, U-turn, take a U-turn. No matter how far you go ahead, GPS will keep telling you, take a U-turn. Right. So uh, that is still in your hand. You can turn off the GPS and uh, still go ahead in your own way. But with God, it's not like that. Uh, he will keep uh, telling in your heart, you have to go back. You have to repent and you have to go back to the way I want you to go. Right. So uh, that is not in your hand. God will keep uh, telling in your ears, telling in your heart that, you need to do my will. <clears throat> Similarly, when uh, when Paul gets into this situation of a storm while going to the uh, journey to the Rome, all the prisoners are with him. And uh, uh, at that time, uh, also God tells him, steadfast in this ship. I want to save all the people along with you uh, throughout this storm. And uh, and he obeys the will of God. He stays in that ship and all the people along with him uh, are safe throughout that journey. Uh, and he hears the word of God and uh, and lead all the people uh, to the safety uh, in that journey uh, to the Rome. Right. Uh, <clears throat> similarly, when uh, God puts his will in the Noah's heart, uh, Noah immediately listens to it and build the ark. Uh, when the disaster situation comes, uh, God at right time, he saves him, uh, saves Noah and his family uh, throughout that disaster situation just because without any doubt, uh, Noah uh, hears God's voice and follow his will. Right. Uh, <clears throat> These are all the uh, situations in the past which tells us how uh, how uh, characters in the uh, Bible who are uh, godly characters and how they followed the will of God. Now, if we follow the will of God, any disastrous situations, God can take us away the way God took away Lot from the disaster of Sodom and Gomorrah. He decides to um, follow God and uh, he is safely get away from the disaster of Sodom and Gomorrah. But even though his wife decides to turn back uh, and he loses, she loses her life there. So uh, that's specifically I wanted to... Uh, uh, focus in this uh, Sam and uh, wanted to share how the how following the will of God uh, helps us in our life and uh, and our uh, purpose in the life is to hear the word of God through prayers through reading the word of God and uh, apply it in our life follow the path which he has chosen for us um, let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this moment to come together and uh, praise your name, O Lord. Meditate on your words, O Lord. Learn from your words, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being with us throughout this week, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for uh, uh, helping us to follow your will, O Lord. Uh, help us to uh, come closer to you and uh, know the know your will in our life, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray for uh, the message which is coming towards us, O Lord. Uh, help us to hear that and apply in our life, O Lord. And uh, let your will be done in our life. Thank you.